Hello, I'm Susan from Indonesia. We are from Rotary Club Medan Delhi. Uh, this is uh, one of our patients who we sent to Manipal Hospital. Uh, her name is Felicia. Her age is uh, 16 years old. She studied in 11th class uh, SMA Budi Utomo Medan. They are from Medan, uh, Indonesia. At four years old, they already know that she got uh, kiposcoliosis. So for that, uh, at that time, they still don't have fun and don't have enough fun. They already consultation with doctor in Indonesia, uh, but they didn't have fun for that. Uh, last year, uh, around September, September 2022, she was feel breathless uh, until uh, November, November 2022, she was admitted in hospital uh, in Indonesia. But at that, doctor said if you want to do surgery, uh, the risk will be so high. Uh, maybe the patient will be, can be die on the table also. So they didn't want to take a decision for do surgery. Doctor said just take care of the patient well uh, as long as she is alive like that. Um, we. After that, we find the second opinion. Uh, we consultation with Manipal Hospital under Dr. Widyadara. Uh, we came here on 5th March. We came across this girl through uh, email query from uh, Indonesia, Miss Valesia, who had been suffering from progressive neuromuscular kyphoscoliosis of the thoracic spine with severe respiratory insufficiency of six years duration. When she reached us, after a lot of communication and help from our international patient marketing, she was brought to me in a state wherein she was hardly able to walk few steps and she was literally gasping for breath. Her SpO2 on room air was 65% and she had severe oxygen depletion in her blood when we did an ABG. We referred her to a pulmonologist, we referred her to get a X-ray whole spine, CT scan, MRI, we did an echo and all the workup which needed for any intervention on the spine with these kind of sick children. After all the evaluation and assessment, we did explain to her that the risk of on-table death was about 10% and her going on to ventilator and ICU care was nearly 10%. They agreed to undergo the proposed procedure because there was no other option. At least here we could attempt to do it as safe as we can. With all the positivity in the patient and around the patient along with the medical expertise that is available at our centre, we did perform a scoliosis correction and internal stabilisation and fusion surgery on her nearly three weeks back. After investigation, we did surgery on 9 March and discharge on 13 March. She recovery in two weeks. Uh, and right now, um, after surgery, she got so much improvement actually. Uh, before surgery, her ex oxygen saturation is only 60, 65, uh, maximum is 75. But right now, her oxygen is uh, 95 percent, so uh, she can climb the staircase. Uh, without any breathless and tiredness also. She recovered very well. She did not need much of assistance with her breathing except for she had to go through a non-invasive ventilation support more of at night and she slowly weaned her off from the oxygen support and the non-invasive ventilatory support over the last two to three weeks. And the last one week, she has been off the oxygen and oxy, also any sort of support. She is now walking, she feels much more comfortable. Her lung function has improved significantly. The heart, which was failed because of secondary effect of the lung failing, also has reversed significantly in just three weeks 
after the surgery so far uh, in this manipal hospital we are very happy because uh, doctor uh, very friendly nursing um, every team in and in MIPC also uh, very friendly and uh, they did very fast investigation and also we don't lose our time in here uh, everything doctor do very fast I thank all the team members of the hospital who made her stay in India comfortable the anesthetist the paramedical staff and my team of doctors and nurses in the Manipal Spine Care Center for having done such a risky and tough operation look so simple and easy for me to do. Good luck to Valencia for a bright and prosperous future. We are very happy in um, this Manipal hospital with the treatment for uh, with from experienced doctor also. Uh, actually, we already brought many patients to here, so we have trust uh, on Manipal Hospital, especially with Dr. Widyadara. The result is very happy for us.